Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Prajwal and in this video, I'll show you how to upgrade to SSEM 2111. Microsoft has released SSEM 2111 update on December 2nd, 2021 and you can install this update on your production server running SSEM. The update 2111 for Configuration Manager current branch is available as an in-console update. When you upgrade to Configuration Manager 2111, you get the latest fixes and new fi features added to your site. You can perform SSEM 2111 upgrade on sites that run Configuration Manager version 2006 or later. Prior to the release of SSEM 2111, the previous versions were SSEM 2103 and SSEM 2107 which are still supported versions. SSEM 2111 is available in the early update ring and after few weeks it will be made available for everyone. For now, to get SSEM 2111 update, you must run the PowerShell script to get Configuration Manager 2111 update in the console. The SSEM 2111 is not a baseline version. If you are installing a new SSEM site, use the Configuration Manager 2103 baseline version. You won't be able to install SSEM 2111 if you are running SSEM 2012 or SSEM 2012 R2. You can directly upgrade SSEM 2103 to SSEM 2111 without requiring to install Configuration Manager 2107 update. The SSEM 2103 baseline is available in Microsoft Evaluation Download Center and you can also download it from VLSC or MSDN. Configuration Manager 2111 Servicing Support Configuration Manager Current Branch 2111 is the third current branch release of the year 2021. Typically, we see three current branch releases from Microsoft every year. Every new Configuration Manager current branch update version remains in support for 18 months from its general availability release date. If you look at the SSEM 2111 servicing support image, the Configuration Manager 2111 will receive security and critical updates for the first four months, that is up to March 2022. And for the next 14 months, up to May 2023, it will receive only security updates. New features in SSEM 2111 Every new current branch update includes new features and improvements. The SSEM 2111 includes the following new features and improvements. Number 1. Implicit uninstall for user collections. Number 2. Approvals for orchestration group scripts. Number 3. Enable update notifications from Microsoft 365 apps. Number 4. Simplified Cloud Attach Configuration Number 5. Status Messages for Console Extensions Number 6. Improvements to Client Health Dashboard Number 7. Software Center Notifications with Logo Support Number 8. Task Sequence Check for TPM 2.0 Number 9. Custom Properties for Devices in the Console Number 10. Import Console Extensions Wizard Number 11. Send product feedback from wizard and property dialogs. Number 12. Power BI sample reports. Number 13. Improvements to application groups, VPN boundary types, external notifications, cloud management gateway, window servicing dashboard, ADR search criteria, support center log file viewer and one trace, and configuration manager console improvements. SCCM 2111 upgrade prerequisites and upgrade checklist. Before you install SSEM 2111 update, ensure you are aware of the following prerequisites. Number 1. Configuration Manager version 2111 is available as an in-console update. The update should be available under Updates and Servicing node of Configuration Manager console for installation. Number 2. To upgrade to version 2111, ensure you are running SSEM version 2006 or later. Number 3. The Configuration Manager 2111 upgrade requires at least .NET version 4.6.2 but Microsoft recommends using the latest version which is 4.8. With .NET version 4.6.2 installed, you will get a warning during prerequisite check to upgrade to .NET 4.8. To get rid of this warning, you can download and install .NET Framework 4.8 from Microsoft. Number 4. Apply the version 2111 updates starting at the top level site in the hierarchy. First, perform the CAS upgrade. Later, you can begin the upgrade of each child site. 
complete the upgrade of each child site before you begin to upgrade to the next site. Number 5. Ensure that you are running a supported operating system version and supported SQL Server version. Number 6. If you are running SSEM 2002 or an older version, refer to my blog post on SSEM in-place upgrade paths. Number 7. If there is a pending restart for the server, reboot the server and then begin the update installation. Number 8. The configuration manager should have an online service connection point configured. Number 9. The latest version of Windows ADK that you can install for SSEM 2111 is Windows ADK for Windows 10 version 2004. If you have installed an older version of ADK and would be upgrading your Windows 10 to newer versions, you must upgrade your ADK. Windows 11 ADK is also available and you can install it. Should I install previous SSEM hotfixes or skip them? One of the common questions asked before upgrade is should I install all the SSEM hotfixes before SSEM 2011 upgrade? The answer is no. That's because all the fixes present in previous configuration manager hotfixes will be included in SSEM 2111 release. If you already have installed previously available hotfixes, you can proceed with SSEM 2111 upgrade. If you see any configuration manager hotfixes in your console, you may skip them and directly upgrade to configuration manager 2111. After you finish the SSEM 2111 upgrade, the old hotfixes will not show up anymore. You should see only configuration manager 2111 update as installed in the console. Download early enable update ring script for SSEM 2111. Before you begin the SSEM 2111 upgrade, to get the SSEM 2111 update in the console, you must run the early update ring script. Download the configuration manager 2111 early update ring script first. Save the script to a folder on the site server. You must extract the contents before you get the script to run. I have extracted the early update ring script and it is placed in the C drive. Run configuration manager 2111 enable early update ring PowerShell script. You can run the SSEM Enable Early Update Ring 2111 script using following steps. Close the Configuration Manager console, launch the PowerShell as administrator, change the path to the script location and run the Enable Early Update Ring 2111 script. Now enter the site server name. This is the top level site server name or the IP address and the script downloads the update 2111 in console for you. After you run the above script, the SSEM 2111 update starts to download. You can monitor the download process by reviewing the dmpdownloader.log. If you notice any errors here, it will be probably related either to your firewall or security software blocking the Configuration Manager 2111 update download. When the SSEM 2111 update download begins, the status of the update in the console shows as downloading. Once the download is complete, you should see the state as ready to install. If you notice that SSEM 2111 update is stuck in downloading state for a long time, there are solutions available. However, you must first review dmpdownloader.log and find the exact error. You can refer to my blog post for more help in case if you see the download is stuck in downloading state for a long time. The configuration manager downloads and extracts all the files required for 2111 upgrade. This process will take time, so be patient while this completes. Run prerequisite check for SSEM 2111. You must always perform a prerequisite check before installing a major SSEM update. After the prerequisite check is complete, you may see some warnings or errors that could prevent installing the update. Before we install SSEM 2111 update, let's run prerequisite check. Launch the configuration manager console. Navigate to administration, overview, updates and servicing node. Right click configuration manager 2111 update and select run prerequisite check. After you run the prerequisite check, it takes a while to actually begin the checks. The state of the SSEM 2111 update changes to checking prerequisites. You will see the update status as checking prerequisites for a long time. 
There are two ways to monitor the SACM 2111 prerequisite check process. Number one, in the Configuration Manager console, go to Monitoring, Overview, Updates and Servicing Status. Right-click Configuration Manager 2111 Update and select Show Status. In the Update Pack Installation Status window, select Prerequisite Check Step. Here, you should see all the prerequisite checks with status and description. An alternate way to monitor the progress of prerequisite check is by reviewing the Configuration Manager prerequisite.log. This log file is located on the root drive of the site server. When the Configuration Manager 2111 prerequisite check step is complete, you see one of these statuses. Successful, this means the prerequisite check passed without any errors or warnings. Warnings, this means the prerequisite check passed with warnings. You must review those warnings and fix them. Failed, this means you cannot upgrade the configuration manager as there are errors in your setup. Select each error and look at the description which gives you more details about the error and how to resolve it. After you resolve all the errors, run the prerequisite check step again and ensure you see no errors this time. You can ignore the prerequisite check warnings and address them later because they usually don't hold the upgrade. Whereas the errors must be addressed, if you don't fix the errors, the upgrade will surely fail. After you resolve all the Configuration Manager 2111 prerequisite checks and warnings, begin SCCM 2111 upgrade. You can begin the SCCM 2111 upgrade using the following steps. Launch the SCCM console. Navigate to Administration, Overview, Updates and Servicing node. Right-click Configuration Manager 2111 Update and select Install Update Pack. The Configuration Manager version 2111 update includes the following. Configuration Manager Site Server Updates, Configuration Manager Console Updates, Configuration Manager Client Updates, Fixes for Known Issues and New Features. On the General tab of Configuration Manager Updates Wizard, click Next. On the Features tab, check the boxes on the new features you want to enable during the update. You can enable these new features after installing the update from Administration, Updates and Servicing and Features. Click Next to continue. For Client Update options, select the desired option for your client update. This option allows updating only clients members of a specific collection. Select next to continue. On the license terms tab, accept the license terms and click next. The cloud attach tab includes cloud attach settings. You can sign in to Microsoft Endpoint Manager with your Microsoft organizational account. If you want to skip the cloud attach settings, uncheck all the checkboxes and click next. On the summary tab, review your settings. Click Next. Close the wizard on the Completion tab. The Configuration Manager 2111 update installation begins now. The SCCM version 2111 upgrade usually takes 45 minutes or sometimes even more to complete. During the upgrade, do not perform any changes to your setup using Configuration Manager console. Just leave the server idle and let the update install. Monitor the Configuration Manager 2111 upgrade process. You can monitor the SCCM 2111 upgrade process with the following steps. In the SCCM console, go to Monitoring Workspace. Click Overview and go to Updates and Servicing Status. Right click Configuration Manager 2111 update and select Show Status. An alternate way to monitor the upgrade is by reviewing the cmupdate.log file. Configuration Manager 2111 Console Upgrade After the SCCM 2111 upgrade is complete, the old console version requires an upgrade. A new version of Configuration Manager Console will be installed. You should not skip the console upgrade process. To upgrade the Configuration Manager Console to latest version, you can either refresh the console or close and launch it again. You see a console upgrade window pops up and all you have to do is click OK to begin the console upgrade. For some of you, a yellow notification bar appears just below the top ribbon. Click install the new console version. 
The console upgrade process involves uninstalling the old version of console and installing the latest console version. The console extensions are also updated during this process. If you notice any issues during the console upgrade, refer to the Configuration Manager console log files for troubleshooting. You can review the following log files to troubleshoot the console upgrade issues. Configuration Manager Admin UI Setup.log and Configuration Manager Admin UI Setup Verbose.log. After upgrading to Configuration Manager 2111, the new console version will be 5.2111.1052.1700. Verify SCCM 2111 upgrade. After the console upgrade, you can check about Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager to confirm if the 2111 upgrade is completed successfully. In the Configuration Manager console, click About Configuration Manager. You should see the following details. Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager version 2111 Console version 5.2111.1052.1700 Site version 5.0.9068.1000 You can verify the SSCM 2111 build number and version with the following steps. In the SSCM console, navigate to Administration, Site Configuration, Sites. Right-click your site and select Properties. The version should be 5.00.9068.1000 and the build number should be 9068. This confirms that you have successfully upgraded SSCM to version 2111. Check SSCM 2111 client package distribution. To take full advantage of new configuration manager features, after you update the site, you must update clients to the latest version. While new functionality appears in the Configuration Manager console, when you update the site and console, the complete scenario isn't functional until the client version is also the latest. Before you update the client agents, ensure the Configuration Manager client package is updated to all the distribution points. Ideally, the client package is updated to all distribution points after every upgrade. In case the client package distribution fails, you can update it manually with the following steps. In the Configuration Manager console, navigate to Software Library, Overview, Application Management, Packages. Select the Configuration Manager Client Package and check if the update is successful. Otherwise, right-click Client Package and select Update Distribution Points. Update SSCM Boot Images After the SSCM 2111 upgrade, the default boot images will automatically update to all distribution points. If, if it's not updated, you can manually update the boot images using the following procedure. Launch the Configuration Manager console. Go to Software Library, Operating Systems, Boot Images. Right-click the boot image and select Update Distribution Points. You must update both boot images, 64-bit and 32-bit, to all the distribution points. SCCM 2111 Upgrade Clients The recommended method to update clients is by using the Automatic Client Upgrade feature. Open the SSCM 2111 console, go to Administration, Site Configuration, Sites. Click the Hierarchy settings in the top ribbon and select the Client Upgrade tab. Select the option Upgrade Client Automatically when the new client update is available. Select the required number of days for automatic client upgrade. The client version will be updated to 5.00.9068.1005. That completes the steps for SSCM 2111 upgrade. If you think this video helped you, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all with my new video soon. Bye.